Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today's video is going to be how I decorated my hutch with my Ray Dunn items that I have found and Joanna Parker items that I have found. So if you guys want to keep watching and see how I decorated, just go ahead and stick around and let's get started. I'll start here on the bottom. So down here at the bottom, I have a Joanna Parker Halloween mug from the Carnival Collection. I have this little cat teapot. His face is so cute. I found him at Home Goods in Castle Rock, Colorado. And then I have a Ray Dunn little mini treat pumpkin in the back. That's one of those little bat uh, stands that I got from the Target Dollar Spot a few weeks ago. Uh, this little girl back here, let's see if I can get back there. She is from Old Time Pottery in Ohio. She's just a little figurine. And then I just have the gnome cookie jar. It has the spider on his head. I don't have any cookies in him. And then I have the spider table runner. I picked that up at the at home store. I just have these little Dollar Tree pumpkin lights from Dollar Tree. This is one of those um, pumpkin decor pieces I picked up at Big Lots quite some time ago. It does light up. I don't, the batteries have died on this, I believe. Let's see if I can't get it to come on. Oh, it's very, very faint. It's the tiniest little light in there. Look at that little light. That's the smallest light to light up all these pumpkins. Maybe I'll have to get a row of lights and string them in there. And then I have this other teapot. I picked him up the same day I picked up the other one at Home Goods. This is one of the pumpkin mugs that I picked up at Kroger this year. I also picked up these trick-or-treat canisters. It was a set. This one's got the pumpkin on top. That one says spooky. It's got the hat. These little bottlenose trees I picked up at Dollar Tree. This is a little candy stand. This also was from Old Time Pottery in Ohio. And then I have another Joanna Parker pumpkin mug. Look at his face. How can you guys resist that? He's so freaking cute. I love him. I have some of these little pumpkin suckers I just put in here for decor. I put these up at Dollar Tree. And then back here, I picked this up about two years ago at the thrift store. It's just the pumpkin plate, but I thought it was really cute. These lights I just picked up, they're from Five Below. It came in a pack of three. They are super bright, y'all. If you see them at your Five Below, pick them up. They just take three batteries, three AAA batteries. They light up this whole space really well. I need to go back and get some more for this section. So on this side, let's see if I can't get a brighter here, is my Joanna Parker. She's my little spider girl. Oh, so cute. And then I have the, I think he's Frankenstein. No, I'm not sure. I think he's a Dracula or a devil. Actually, I think he's a devil because he has ears. Joanna Parker. And then that was where the little mini Halloween jack-o'-lantern mugs from Target at the hide and eek section. I have one of these little pumpkin trees. I have just this little sign. I think I picked that up at Hobby Lobby a while back. And then I have some Ray Dunn Halloween mugs. I have a Boo Ray Dunn. This is a candle, it says trick or treat. Another Halloween Ray Dunn. And then I just picked this up at the thrift store. It's just a little decor piece. And we actually went to the pumpkin farm over the weekend and found this little tiny radio flyer wagon. <laughs> Those are the little Dollar Tree pumpkins I put in it. I think I only paid like $2 for that little wagon, but it's really cute. And then I have one of these little, I got these at Walgreens, the little Squishmallows. 
And of course, you gotta have Harry Potter. I got those in last year. They were just grab bags. And then Draco Malfoy. Okay. And then we got another Joanna Parker. Little mug. And then the Dracula. Just some little sticks for drinking. I'm not sure why I picked this little guy up. Actually, it's a girl. I'm not sure why I got that. It doesn't even have a sticker on it. It probably came in something. I'm not really sure. It's, I've had it for quite some time. And then up here on the next shelf, I made this with my Cricut. My Cricut Joy. I'm still trying to figure out how to work it. These are actually Ray Dunn cookie jars. And I just have a Ray Dunn font that I made out. I think I showed those on one of my videos. These are just those little jumpy things from Dollar Tree. I have a trick-or-treat Ray Dunn mug with the little jack-o'-lantern topper. Trick-or-treat mug from Ray Dunn. My little dog from Harry Potter. And then I have this little haunted pumpkin. It's that marbleized gasoline color. Wish I could pick it up on camera better, you guys. And then I just picked up one of these trick-or-treat gnome jars. This is actually a mug, not a candle. And then I think everyone has seen these. These are the ghosts from Dollar Tree. And then another Harry Potter. These are from the blind bags. I got these last year at uh, Spirit Halloween. That's from Bath and Body. It's one of the little um, hand sanitizer, hand, excuse me, hand sanitizer containers. And then these are just a little Pez container. And this one I also made as well. It says cookie on the back. They were on clearance at Home Goods one day. And then another, these two are different from my other one. So that one and that one are different. Both Joanna Parker. Joanna Parker, oh my goodness. Both three <laughs> done mugs, you guys. Sorry. All right, now we're gonna go up here to the top where I have my ghost stuff. I actually picked up that rack this year at Hobby Lobby. Alrighty, let's get up here. This is a little ghost I picked up probably in July at the at-home store. This is one of the Target little tiny ghost mugs. Again, these are just from Dollar Tree, the little candy suckers. And then up here, we have some Joanna Parker. Those are the salt and pepper shakers. Some little ghosts. These I got as a set of three. This one and this little guy. And that little guy came in a pack at Target for like $5, I believe. All right, now we're gonna come up here. And then I have the little cat one, the ghost. He's adorable. I wish I could find more of those ones. But that's all I've been able to find for Joanna Parker, just a couple things I already have. That's the other set for the salt and pepper shaker, Joanna Parker. And then this is one of the Ray Dunn haunted mugs with the haunted house on top. And then this is just a little piece of decor I've had. I don't remember where I picked that one up at. And then another um, one from the Target eek, hide and eek section for this year for Halloween. And then I have the Spider Gnome. It says Spooky Ray Dunn Mug. Another Boo Ray Dunn. And then this one's the Spooky Cat Ray Dunn. That's another one of the Joanna Parker salt and pepper shakers. And then coming down here on the bottom, I have an Eek Ray Dunn mug. These are the hand sanitizers from Bath and Body this year. This is a ghost mug I picked up this year at Kroger. This ghost one I picked up last year at Kroger. And then this is just one of those sink dispensers. I picked that up at TJ Maxx or HomeGoods. Had the little scrubby inside it. 
And then I just have the little Dollar Tree Ghost soap dispenser. And then the Itsy Bitsy hand soap I just picked up at the at home store. And then another Ghost Witch, the head on top. This is from Big Lots. And then this guy actually is missing. He's supposed to be holding a lantern. I ordered this in white and it came broken in, in the wrong color. So there he is. He's one of those ghosts. And then I just have the target trees in the back. And then I just have a light up here. Those are from Dollar Tree. All right, we're gonna come down here and then go look at this other shelf that I have. All right, and then I have this little guy. The bottom is from the Target Halloween section. My little mommy, he's from Home Goods. This is one of my Walgreens finds. And all these I have in descriptions in my other videos if you guys want to go back and watch them. That's an at home mug. And then this was probably a Home Goods or TJ Maxx this year. And then my little gnome. This is from this year, Hobby Lobby. Another Walgreens, little Squishmallow. Scoot back a little bit. And then the canister here, he's from the at home store. I bought that canister and this together at the same day. This is Hobby Lobby, I believe. I think I got that last year, Hobby Lobby or Walmart. There's no tag on it. And then these are from Kroger last year, the little mummy cat. It's so adorable. And then I have up here, these are all from Dollar Tree, the little mummy jumpies. And then my little mummy guy, he is from Home Goods. This is a thrift store find from a few years ago and another thrift store find. So that's what I have you guys. And this rack that they're sitting on, I got that at the same time as I got the other rack. They're both from Hobby Lobby. I think this one I'm gonna say was like $10. And it doesn't really hold three mugs on there that are this big together as you can see, but it worked out pretty good. So yeah, so that's what I have. Again, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm almost at a 1,000 subscribers. So thank you to everyone who's actually subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it, and we're going to keep putting out videos. We're just trying to work out some kinks on how to edit a little bit faster so I can get some more videos out quicker. So there's a quick little review. And if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment of what your favorite item is and what is your unicorn item for this Halloween. If you guys found it or you didn't find it, mine was Marvin Martian from the little mummy guy. I never did find him. So I guess I'll just keep my eyes peeled and hope I can still find him. But again, thanks for watching you guys. And if you guys want to keep seeing more content leave a comment in the bottom and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching